Well, first of all, appreciate everybody being here. What a balmy, beautiful day here in, in Kansas City, getting ready for a great practice to, to get ready for the charges. And uh, first, I'd like to just say, you know, obviously with the tragedy that happened at the University of Virginia, our, our hearts and our prayers go out to the, the families and, and the people that were involved and, uh, and Coach Elliott and uh, uh, lost for words on that one. But uh, with that, I'll open it up for questions. Coach D, uh, you're a little halfway through this thing now. Anything surprise you about your group so far? Anything that's been pleasantly surprising for you? Well, I just think it's a it's a really good group from you know top to bottom, man for man. A lot of guys have contributed and just got to keep getting better. And uh, they're continuing to do that, keep working to get better, and uh, and just uh, you know one game at a time. Chris said, you mentioned how much he jived with you right at the beginning. You know, and he's, he's Chris gone. said that. Yeah, and he liked you, liked the way you were coaching him. Has he done anything more than you thought he could do? He seems to rise to the occasion at the big spots of games. Is that kind of what the superstars are supposed to do? Well, I think, you know, one of the things we said way back when, when uh, uh, talking in the preseason, for us to have a, a, the year we want to have and, and get to the ultimate goal, Chris would have to have a career year. And what does that entail? It means not just getting after the quarterback, but playing the run, doing the little things, playing with pad level, being physical. And, you know, some of the plays in, in last week's game, you know, the first – you know, there was a third and two where they like to keep you know, the quarterback like to keep the ball, and Chris kind of read the play and knocked the guard back, and it was kind of hidden production, as Coach Spag says, and he forced the ball back to Willie and George Kaloftis, and, and they made the play, and we were off the field. So things like that he's doing a great job of, and he's always been able to rush the passer, but he's, he's impacting the game in different ways. Joe, uh, Dunlap got to 100 last week, um, as you know. Um, could you sense how – he's talked a lot about that. Could you sense how important that – milestone was for him? Yeah, absolutely. And, and Carlos has done a great job. You know, he came here for, for really an opportunity to, to be where in, in an organization like this and have an opportunity to 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 win win, win, win everything. And uh, he's really contributed. But that's a milestone. My hat's off to Carlos. He's worked hard. Uh, there's only 41 of them in the, in the history of the NFL. And I think there's eight active. But I was really happy for him. And, and it's a uh, you know, he was striving for that as a personal goal, but never, never one where he he put the team before, put that before the team. So, you know, he knew it was going to happen if he kept doing what he was doing, and I was really glad for him. How could you tell it was important to him other than what he was talking about? I just think anybody when you when you have 96 coming in the, another year and you and you know to to get that milestone, it's like 500 home runs in my opinion. You know. Hitter has 497. He's got another year. He'd like to crank another three. But, you know, we talked about that. He obviously wanted to get to that goal and then obviously, you know, strive to win a championship and help the team win a championship. I think, I think on that front, didn't he? I think he mentioned to us that that was a goal he told his dad was his, was his you know, goal when he was drafted. And, and he yes, it was. That story with you? Yeah, you know, not particularly, but I know it was a goal. And, and I know, uh, you know, when, when Carlos first came, he had to, he had to go, you know, Go to the gravesite of where, where his dad was buried, and uh, that, that was something in his heart that he wanted to do. A couple more. Uh, Colin Saunders has had a really nice year when it comes to breaking out. He mentioned he just hasn't felt healthy, but is there anything else that, that maybe has unlocked him, him in a way that, that you've noticed? Colin's worked extremely hard from the first first day I met him. Um, he's lost weight. He's got himself in really excellent football shape. You know, he came back in tip top shape, and he's really getting better and better in terms of that aspect. Uh, staying strong in the weight room with Coach Rubin and the guys, and he's really worked hard on the field. He's very smart as a football player, knows what to do, but he's playing at a high level because he, he, the game has kind of slowed down for him. He's just just really working hard. Last one, okay. so, so you talked about um, Carlos going to see his father. Can you um, share more of that story when he first signed, or, or what? No, there was just there was just you know. He, like I said, it was the, the grave site, you know, that was something he, he was going to do, but it was just, that's personal, Carlos. But I know the impact of, you know, promising his dad that, you know, obviously led to him wanting to get that goal. You, and, he, and he's been close, I mean, in other games, so. You've um, coached a lot of good pass rushers. What mm -hmm. makes him one of the guys who could get to 100? What, what is it about him? Well, one, one he, has, he has a real sense. It's like Terrell Suggs was the same way, staying alive on his rush. Sometimes it's not about beating a blocker one on one, just blowing right by him. You got to fight through the down. The, the the coverage the other day was outstanding. It led to him and Chris getting a couple sacks in there, and then just staying alive, working his hands, working, knowing when to counter back inside. 
he always stays alive on his pass rush. You never see him just get blocked and stop. He's always working to get to the quarterback, and sometimes he doesn't always beat the guy clean, but he impacts it and knows when to counter back at the level. That's something from afar I've always really admired about Carlos. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thanks,